So it is good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. And uh, so this is crazy. You came to see me when I was getting ready to, to shoot my stand-up special. I was putting it together in a, in a small place here. Um, and then that's when it clicked in that you had seen me do stand-up before? <laughs> um, yes. It was, first of all, your special was fantastic. Thank you. And it was, felt, yes. And, um, and it was really exciting to be there for, you know, kind of like a practice show or whatever right. it's called. And as you were telling the story about your bit, uh, the phone call to God, which was, uh, became huge, I, it occurred to me that even though I've been on this show 29 million times, I forgot <laughs> that I had heard you do that bit when I was a cocktail waitress at the Improv in Chicago. And I think it was just that that person and this person seemed like very different people. I couldn't believe it was the same me, but it's the same me. Can you believe it? It is the same <laughs> you. It's so funny that you completely, no. you've been on the show, I know you, we're friends, yeah. and yet you completely forgot that you saw me. And of course, I didn't know you were a, a waitress at the Improv in Chicago no. either. Yeah. It was cool. I don't know. You just never know where you're going to end up. Exactly. <laughs> That's the point in life. You just, I mean, never, never know. Yeah. Yeah. So you, uh, let's get to the important stuff. Okay. <laughs> you got a puppy. Yes, I did. And, and, and this is, it's a rescue dog. Yes. And it is going to be... <laughs> now, is this a recent picture? Yes. So it's that small now. Well, it's a lie, that photo, a little bit because of the perspective. Because she's already, she, look at those paws. She's pretty big. She's going to be big. She, what, what is she? So we think Lab, Shepherd, and then I took her to the vet, and they were like, and Rottweiler. And I was like, she keeps getting smaller. Wow. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, she's like kind of a big dog. And I, I fell in love with her on the internet, which I hope is the closest I ever have to come to internet dating. Uh -huh. um, I, but I really did. I kind of, there was something in her eyes, and I drove, I've been working in Vancouver, and I drove to Washington State to pick her up. And I wasn't intending to take her home that day, but one look in those big brown eyes, and I was like, you're coming with me and I just like put her in the car and now she's my dog. That's great. And you are, you live here in LA mm -hmm. and you're neighbors with Dax Shepard and Kristen, right? Yes. And, and how is that? Do y'all all? all... <laughs> it's like, whoa. <laughs> it's amazing. It's <laughs> so special. Um, it's really cool. I mean, it's just so fun. Our neighborhood is fun and doing parenthood with him was fun and he and Peter go on hikes to get Peter, my boyfriend, go on hikes together, which is adorable. And he has this, you know, um, his, his two girls and they have a real, um, tough guy looking like Jeep kind of thing, but a Jeep for kids, <laughs> but you know, those. But um, that they drive around the neighborhood, but um, Dax is often out doing his own handyman work. He, yeah, I've, like, se I've seen pictures of that, it's real? It is real. He like he's got like a cut off shirt and you know, all his tattoos and like he's, you know, he's really that guy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then what? <laughs> And then one day, this is how I know that we'll be friends until we die. Um, he was coming up the street, and I was in, in a car, and I was driving down the street, and he waved at me, and I was like, oh, that's Brad Pitt. For whatever reason, I thought he was Brad Pitt. And he rolled down the window, and I was like, I thought you were Brad Pitt. And he's like, I love you forever. <laughs> Yeah, Dax is a cute guy. Yeah, yeah. he is a cute guy and yeah. funny guy. And his podcast is fantastic. I've it's... been on it. Yeah, me too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Well. <laughs> It's really nice to see you. I guess I should be going. Yeah. Well, before you go, maybe you oh. should tell us about this new program that you're oh. on. Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah, promoting things. I um, am on this show. It's incredible. It's called, you know what it's called? And it's singing and dancing. And basically, it's uh, the lead is my friend Jane Levy, who happens to be an incredible triple threat. And the idea is that she hits her head, because that's what happens to people. And then when she wakes up, she hears people's thoughts in song. So you don't, I, don't, I didn't know I was singing Satisfaction to her, but my character, guess what? is unsatisfied, and so I sing this song, I Can't Get No Satisfaction, and that's how she knows I'm unsatisfied. <laughs> that's fantastic. That must be a lot of work. It's a lot of work, and I had never recorded in a booth before. Um, I worked, we worked with this chore choreographer, Mandy Moore, not the actor, the, the choreographer, and I, she had me dancing on bars. I mean, it was really, really fun. Well, they know Mandy Moore, because she was on uh, So course. You Think You Can Dance. Absolutely. Yes. Yep. Yes. 100%. She's fantastic. She's fantastic. Yeah, and you were dancing on bars? I was, I do dance on a bar. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. First time? I believe it is, Ellen, I oh. believe it is. But then I jump into the arms of a young man, too, which that, I'd never done that before. Oh, wow, that's fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Okay. Mm. Um, <laughs> all right, Lauren. We're going to take a break, and we're oh. gonna... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can only talk in small chunks of time. <laughs> you, in my real life, you're I'm like new, this too. You're new to this. <laughs> yes. All right, we'll All play right. a game after this. Okay, fine. All right.